Hello everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so today we are going to dive into quite a specific insight, but again, it just go, follows along from a lot of the other, other um, videos and techniques I've showcased in, in that it just combines many DAX techniques, Power BI techniques, modeling techniques to extract really interesting insight that um, could prove very, uh, you know, actionable or very valuable within your organization. So what I've chosen to dive into that to today is saying, okay, well, we want to group our customers into like good customers, okay customers, and um, and say small customers. And we want to say, okay, well, how do those customers, the customer groups, who's experiencing the most growth? Like what, who is impacting our growth the most? Um, and from we want to look at it from a percentage basis and we also want to look at it from a um, you know an absolute basis and so I've, I've put a few visualizations together to um, you know to try and showcase that and I'm also going to run through the logic that I went through to actually create it as well now there probably is you know to be honest there probably is a couple of ways you could actually do this but this is just you know this is just me trying to find an insight and then showcasing it in a way you know working through logic that i've created yeah you know, i guess the most i want you to get the thing i want you to get out of this is just what's possible what's seriously possible i mean i, I would i'm almost at the point where there's there's really no insight that i could not find um that i can think of um with power bi and dax so that's that's yeah that's ultimately what i want you to sort of get out of it and to understand is that you know when you combine all of these DAX formulas and you understand it really well understand how to work it in with a model man it's just so powerful what you can achieve okay so how did I start how did I start so we want to say we, we let's just think logically about what we're trying to do here so we're saying okay which groups experience the most growth well we've got to go and work out how to segment these clients right so that's a that's a feat in itself with with DAX and you've got to understand a bit to a, a bit there but I want to um, group my customers on sales right so what I did is I went and created a table I created this table I created it by going into data and I just en entered these um, all of these uh, variables or all of these uh, points right this parameter table and so what we what we're going to do here or this is actually a supporting table what we're going to do is we're going to say okay we're going to iterate through this table ultimately I'm going to say I want to go and have a look at what my customer sales are and I want to see are they between this min and this max this min and this max this min and this max and then if they are then that client is going to be put into one of these groups right so that's that's logically what we're trying to do so let's go and have a look at the formula. Um, and, and we'll see, this is such a flexible technique, right? I mean, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you how flexible it is just in these two examples. So we wanna look at the growth uh, grouping, right? But what's really interesting he thing here is like, I wanna say, I wanna see, okay, what was the customer last year? What group were they in last year? And then what was the percentage growth for that particular group? So check this out. So I'm saying show the percentage year on year growth for every um, uh, for, for each different group, but to work out which customers are, are in each group, I go iterate through every single customer and, and then evaluate if their sales last year were above the min or below the max in any single row within that table, right? And then if they are, then it's going to deliver me the percentage year on year growth for that particular um, subset of clients. So really, really, really powerful stuff, right? And then we can put this into a chart and we can see, okay, well, our small clients, our small clients absolutely, you know, dominated. They, there was a significant year on year growth. Um, but we've also got to think, we've also got to think, well, percentages don't really tell the whole story, right? Because if this is off a really small base, does it really matter to our overall revenue? And so what I have done is I also wanted to have a look at what were the total sales for each of those different groups, right? And so I had to create another formula and said, okay, well, tell me the total sales of each of these customers based on what group they are in now. Okay, so if my small, uh, actually, I mean, probably we should probably actually put this as last year. Now that I, now that I'm actually just reviewing it, so probably if I just go and put in sales last year, this is actually going to um, evaluate slightly differently because it's going to say, okay, from last year's results, now what what basket do they actually sit in this year? And so this tells a bit of a story. So our small clients actually, you know, they obviously make may made up a little bit more of sales than probably they did last year because of this outstanding growth.
and so that's what that sort of insight is telling you and so I can just format it here as well and then you'll see our okay clients even though they were a small small growth basket um, you know only up nine percent then but it actually still makes up a large portion of our um, you know of our sales now the, the, the other thing to note is that your your groups are, are arbitrary so like the groups that I created here I mean that I just created those numbers randomly so you know it's uh, that's going to be very customized to whatever environment or whatever analysis you want to do but what's also cool is that this now this now sits within I could put this into a scatter chart right and you can see okay well um, we're breaking up small clients okay clients and top clients and I'm saying okay here's the here's the growth per client so say I wanted to see well, why why are my top clients down by 41% so that's pretty pretty scary number right um, you know based on last year all our top clients are below um, 41 in total delivering 40 41 percent decrease in growth well I can click on top clients and you can see well um, you know this is the reason basically this is the reason we could then even dive in further where we could say okay well let's actually just dive below it'll just have a look at everyone that is below say zero percent so I can um, just come into the filtering section here and I can say is less than zero percent and then we could also um, have a look and look at our cat add our customer names in there for example so that's just the amazing insight that you can very quickly achieve and we could say okay well all of these customers were they were in our top client group last um you know last uh last year and then all of a sudden you know some of these customers have really fallen off a cliff like why why is that you know we could have a look at where are they regionally based where are they uh, who's their sales person who's their sales rep so on and so forth okay so there was a little bit there there was a little bit there and these, there's a little bit to these formulas I've, I've, I've utilized this technique a number of different times so if you look at some other videos you, you certainly will see it um, as always you can uh, download this resource it will be in the enterprise dna tv resources so it just requires a small investment but um you know hopefully um you hopefully you can see it's just so powerful right this is just one way that i was able to combine multiple techniques i, I put in time intelligence calcs i use the calculate function i use dynamic uh, segmentation technique i used um, scatter charts uh, you know i also use some the analytics function to put in um this uh this line at zero here so phew, just goes on and on uh, just how awesome Power BI is, you know, to extract these very specific and unique insights. You know, ultimately in some businesses, this might be, you know, your most important insight versus others where it doesn't matter as much. But, you know, it just it just shows you that you can find it in Power BI. Okay, I'm going to wrap things up there. If you like the content, throw us a like, really appreciate it. Uh, and, and certainly don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV and putting out um, you know, a lot of content, a lot of content all the time on Power BI um, really showcasing, really trying to showcase how you can use this in a really practical and commercial way. You know, that, that's at the end of the day what we want to achieve with our analysis and that's certainly what we can achieve in Power BI. Okay, all the best. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.